Well, looky what I got here. Uh, looks like it's Ipsy time, right? So I'm sure everyone knows what Ipsy is. It's a monthly subscription. It's $9.99. There's no extra shipping, no catches. Ipsy curates bags that are filled with makeup. There's some are sample size, deluxe sample size, full size products. And you get like a cute little bag too. It doesn't come in a box or anything. And Michelle Fawn curates the bags and there's a bunch of other YouTubers that are involved in them. Not this little lady. I pay for my bag. I've had Ipsy for over a year and a half now. So the theme is Pretty in Paradise. Obviously it's going off of this like summer theme. Um, Ipsy tends to get better in the summer. And then like the fall is always good. Christmas time is always like really good. And there's just like some chick with a surfboard. So you're supposed to take like a picture of your glam bag, post it on Instagram, hashtag blah, blah, blah. But whatever. So I'm just going to get into the bag itself and then the products. This month, it's a Rebecca Minkoff bag, which is supposed to be like, ooh, fancy. But it's this like, I think it's like a dark, dark navy. And then it has pineapples and foliage all over it. I love pineapples. I like to eat pineapples. It's my husband's family insignia. Um, my last name is Pina, which does not mean pineapple that I know of. But in Spanish, piña does mean pineapple. And I just think it's super cute. It's like fun. And it's not obnoxiously summer, but it is all at the same time. And I kind of like that. And it just reminds me of like the islands and... And I love the islands. Anyway, and it's from, it's this BB cushion from Laneige, I believe. Laneige. And so I remember some people, I have like a hair, some people on, on YouTube, someone's YouTube video were trying to tell the YouTuber how to pronounce it. And I was like, you have to remember this. And of course I forget. But it's the world's first fa fastest foundation for a BB cushion. So what it is, is basically a full size is the compact with this little like spongy cushion thing in it and it's loaded with the product so it's almost like an ink pad oh, oh. there's four squares here and it comes with this like one little cushiony kind of puff pad thing and then there is the product it's in light medium and dark so i've used light and medium and just to show you what it looks like it's very messy so that was like not up my alley at all so it's just this little spongy like thing and you take your little puff and you just press it in there and then it comes on here and then you just wipe it on your skin preferably your face now I'm going to tell you I'm sure that the full size is easier to use you're not like working in these little things and have this little you know but I ended up always getting product in my fingers like on my fingers or under my nails I hate that huge pet peeve it is messy because it was so small I had to keep doing it and then I had to use like a brush because if I use my beauty sponge it was just going to take all the product off. It's not full coverage. I wore it and I did notice that it kind of accentuated like this dry area right here and my skin has not changed at all this past week and using other foundations and BB creams it was perfectly fine so it really was just the Laneige and it does have SPF 50, which is really good, you know, that it has that. But, um, yeah, I I could see it brightening. It did obviously even my skin tone, and it was very luminescent. Um, the SPF 50 makes it protect, cools and moisturizes. I wouldn't say it cools at all, but um, I don't know. I, I didn't feel like it was cooling or hydrating, whatever. Prevent shine, that's not true. My forehead got very oily. Um, by like midday so after four hours I was just like this is not cool I didn't bring a powder puff with me what the heck and long lasting coverage it wasn't like breaking up on me but it did in that little dry area so I have never heard about this product if you have and you like it you know comment down below and let me know let everyone else know because everyone's skin is different so if you like it you know let someone else know because maybe their skin is more similar to yours than mine is you know, but, but, you know, it was a nice thing to try. I do think even though it was a sample, it was a good sample size. And I used it for like three days, just those two. And there's plenty more products, so I could keep using it. But I'm probably, I think I'm just going to throw it away. It's a cool concept. I don't like the execution. I don't like how messy it is. The application was meh. Not impressed. Another product I was not impressed with is this MD Solar Silent Sciences, this 30 mineral tinted cream with SPF 30. Now this is a sunscreen, 
A, it is tiny. So that's what it looks like there. And it's, you know, I was like, okay, it's tinted. We'll see. I'm like literally scraping it off with this thing. I just wasn't impressed with it. Um, it smelled. Oh, I just, I hate the smell of it. And I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. Because I was like, oh, whatever. It's tinted. That's good for the beach, right? No, I just, I, I can't pinpoint what I didn't like about it. It just, no. No, no, no. Big miss. Okay. This is the Mark Anthony Dream Waves Beach Spray. It's supposed to create sexy, tousled beach waves all year long. Now, I will say this smells amazing. Oh, it smells like coconut. It smells absolutely amazing. I guess I could show you what this looks like. And um, the only thing is, I don't think this is amazing. It's fine. It's not bad. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I like it. Now, I have a lot of hair. That's the problem. Some some of my hair is like, it's growing and curly again, but it's like kind of straight at the ends. I have curly pieces, straight pieces, wavy pieces. This does did nothing to make everything like wavy or curly or anything. And I just have so much hair that I have to spray so much with any of these beach sprays. Um, yeah, Dream Waves beach spray. You know, it's all the same. I'm just like spraying and spraying and spraying. So this isn't something that I use like at home to go out. Th these are things that I throw in my beach bag. And then as I'm like leaving the beach or if we're going to, you know, we'll go for a walk or something at the beach, like I'll spray in my hair so I can, you know, have it be workable to pull it up in a ponytail or a bun. It smells amazing. I'll give it that much. Now I'm just going to get it over with. It came with a NYX butter gloss. Everyone was excited to get this. These are, I think, six bucks, like $5.99, $4.99 or $5.99, which is half the cost um, of the whole bag. So that's great. This is an apple strudel and I have a few of these and this is one I don't have. So I'm actually really excited about that. Oh, I love the way these smell. Beautiful, beautiful color. The NYX, look how pretty. I love it. The NYX butter glosses are just great. They smell great. They're so smooth. They're a good price. Everyone loves them. They're like everybody's favorite everything. And then the last thing I got was this shimmer eyeliner in green from Nika K. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it actually is like this rubber tip. It's not a felt tip. It's not brushes. Um, so it's kind of weird. But let's see. I'll do it this way. Now, beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's gorgeous. Do I like it? Yes. There are some flaws with this product. Though. I'm going to be completely honest with you. A, it is super, super wet. I mean, look. It's all over my hand. It's all over my finger. It's a little difficult to get off. A lot of people were complaining. Um, I used a cold cream. It worked perfectly. I used the Garnier um, oil, like cleansing oil, and that worked fine. I think you need to use something that's actually you know, going to to be stronger on your eyes um, or is more specifically geared towards eye makeup or eyeliner, mascara, that kind of thing. And like I said, it's a rubber. So, you know, you do your flick and then when you go back in to put more, it basically takes product off instead of filling in your your wing or anything. And I don't know, it's just a little weird. And because it's wet, it's just kind of like, really wet and all over the place so I you know but then again guys let's take this with a massive grain of salt because we all know I suck at winged liner so that could be it if you have this product if you have ipsy or if you just happen to have this liner in general comment down below and if you know how to do a winged liner and you can do it pretty decently let us know if that's just me being bad at it or if it is just the product it makes sense to me that a rubber tip is going to as you go over take product off instead of keep adding it you really need to like let it sit for like 30 seconds and dry more um you know once it dries it's fine i was really nervous that it was going to smudge throughout the day but it didn't but it's so pretty it's beautiful like, yeah you know you might be wondering like hey you said you really liked this bag but you hated two of the products and you're 
you know, kind of iffy about one and this one was difficult and you have a million other lip, you know, NYX butter glosses, so why do you like it so much? A, I like the bag itself. I think it's super cute. I do love the gloss. This to me isn't a miss because I use these while I'm at the beach or at a pool or something like that or even working out, you know. Like I said, this is absolutely beautiful. It may just be a matter of me having to wait for it to dry or really practice more, which is what I'm gonna do. And again, I wasn't a fan of this, but it was fun to try something so different. So you can see like all of the stuff that I've been wiping off on it, which is gross. But yeah, you know, this is the product that kind of pissed me off. I was like, really? Like why even bother? But yeah, I will link Ipsy down below. It is a referral link. It doesn't mean I work for them. They have no idea who I am. I pay for my bag, like I said, over a year and a half. I really like Ipsy. I'm excited for next month. And like I said, it usually gets like really good throughout the summer months um, and on. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. I really enjoy doing this format better than just um, like an unbagging, you know, because I just don't think it's very helpful. You know, it's like all these products may look great. And then they might all suck and no one finds out, you know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know about that liner if you tried it. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye, guys.